Part of me was really afraid to do this because I thought it would kind of ruin what we have going on with the with the shop or the garage, but I think I'm actually really liking it. You can probably see what I'm talking about. This box is there, the A-frame is over there, we have the green rail that we made, and then we have the other green rail from LA. And then if we come all the way up into the, the upper section, I don't know what to call it, you can see that it's just very sad and open and empty. Well, I don't know if sad's the right word, it's kind of nice having a driveway again. This is where that black uh, Keen Ramps box was. We had the A-frame. You can actually see the outline of it right there. We had the little quarter pipe in the corner and then a while ago we had the big 18-foot green rail right here. Originally, I want to say for the first month of living here, we referred to this as the upper skate park because we had, what, one, two, three, four, four obstacles up here. I think I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video talking about like rearranging the skate park and, and redoing all this and actually having a, a full on skate session. This is not that video. Yesterday I had some homies over and you can see that we sort of rearranged everything and it was mainly to get this, this one little Instagram line. <laughs> But after we sort of moved everything, it got me thinking that I think I like it. At least this aspect of it, we have box, we have A-frame, we have green rail, we have the, you know, the black rail we just made. We have a lot of rails, I'm learning. You guys know what time it is. Turn your volumes up. I'm hitting you guys with the, with the double whammy today. We're doing both doors. Boom, there's door number one, and boom, there's door number two, yes. Music to my ears. It's funny because it this this started out as like a stupid like I don't even want to call it an inside joke. It's a stupid thing that I'd blow your guys' eardrums out with that sound. The more I've been including that in like my my videos, the more it's like actually beginning to become a part of my videos that I actually enjoy. Anyway, since moving in here, the shop has always been split into two different sections. If you remember when we first moved in, there was a, a wall there that we ripped out to kind of open it up, but it's always been separated. Right from the beginning, we made this side pretty quote unquote you know, unusable, because we put a mini ramp in the middle of it, which sort of took away the ability to, to park a car in here, and I dedicated this side to skateboarding. We're not in LA anymore, we actually have seasons up here, so it's like it's gonna rain, it's gonna barely snow, we're like around the snow line. There will be times out of the year when all of the outside stuff isn't skatable, it's gonna be really nice to have some inside obstacles, so I was fine sacrificing half of this massive garage space as like a dedicated year-round skate zone, I, I love that. This this side, on the other hand, from the very beginning, my YouTube comments have been trying to get me to convert this into, like, to convert this whole thing into an indoor skate park. I've talked about it before, I, I, I don't know how to say it without, like, disappointing you guys, but maybe I just disappoint you guys. I love skateboarding. Skateboarding has always and will always be a part of my life. It's what this channel was was started off of. It's what's built my entire career, my entire life up to this point. That being said, I don't want every aspect, every inch of my life to be skateboarding. And maybe, maybe that's just me, because there are skateboarders out there that want that. They want to live skateboarding. Everything is skateboarding. For me, not so much. I mean, I like I said, I'll always be a skateboarder, obviously, but I do have other interests and other hobbies and I want my life to reflect that. That kind of goes hand in hand and obviously there's there's other reasons like the fact that it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars but a ton of people have suggested doing like a full concrete pump track all the way around the property and make it into this just skatopia skate heaven. So so sick in in theory but I mean the reality of it is like I really like the nature of it. I like that it doesn't feel like I'm living in some concrete jungle like I was in LA. I want to keep it this way and that's 
not to say we can't do like dirt jumps or something for like a mountain board that's a little bit more temporary in case we ever sell or I don't know. It's kind of the same story with this side of the garage. I had always kept this open because I park either the, the truck now or the 240 in here. Right now the 240 is in the attached garage upstairs, but if ever we're working on the 240, I'll, I'll bring it in here and this is kind of the, the base station, the workstation for it. And for that reason, this has kind of always had to stay open and we can't add any obstacles or, or fill this middle section with anything because it needs to be open. Tying back to the beginning of this video where I kind of thought that I ruined that, but at the same time, I think I like it. Royals are obviously super portable. I'm more talking about the, the bigger obstacles like the A-frame. This and this came from the, the upper area that I showed you guys, obviously. Since the very beginning, I've kind of always thought it would be a cool idea to have all the obstacles on this one sort of tier or a level, a driveway. I don't know what we're, what we're calling this. The only problem is that by having this here, it kind of rules out using the shop as an actual parking zone for the car, the truck, the 240. I guess this is kind of a bad example because I think I could still squeeze the 240 through there and the truck can obviously just go around. Eh, I guess the 240 could too. I'm talking a little bit more long term once we continue adding on to stuff and we have more obstacles filling all this and kind of converting this into our, our skatable zone as opposed to separating it all over. Originally moving all these obstacles here was kind of a temporary thing just for that Instagram line but the reason that I think Thing. And again, this is still kind of in the brainstorm stages. As you can see, our little <laughs> our little metal fabrication business. I don't even know what we're uh, what we're calling it now, but we're we're slowly collecting a lot of these tools that I use on a daily basis now. We just got the uh, I don't even think I've showed you this yet. We got the tube roller, so we can do big rainbow rails. We can do S curves, roller coaster rail. Like this is what we're gonna put this to use. You know, right now it's like oh we want to use something. Okay, let's wheel this out. Let's wheel this out. Let's wheel this out. Like everything sort of have tucked away because I've been planning on having I have my cars in here. What if I just sort of commit to it and pull the trigger and sort of accept that cars aren't going in here similar to how I did on this side. This is just a dedicated skate side now. What if this is just more of a dedicated workshop now? So A, this turns into a full a full workshop. B, this turns into our full the skate park, whatever we're calling it, like full all skatable obstacles and everything goes here. I think I'm leaning more towards that now. And like, I, I mean, at the end of the day, like this is all, all of this can change. We're not building building these concrete obstacles that can't move. Some of them may be super heavy, like the, the A-frame, but everything's modular and everything can still be pushed around. It's not like a forever permanent decision. It's more of just like short term for content. But then we have stuff like the, the bump to bar that we're still working on, which can go maybe in place of that green rail. Like it kind of just, it makes everything flow here. Something that I for sure noticed about myself, but I think is a relatively universal feeling. Breaking routine or habit can be really uncomfortable. It's very easy to dismiss things because you're not used to it. So even like putting the obstacles in the driveway out there, it's like, oh no, that's not where they go. We have these ones up here and the other ones down here. I've just been so used to that because the whole time that I've lived at this house, that's how it's been with them sitting in the driveway. It kind of like, I'm like, why didn't I do that sooner? Just because I wanted to park a car in here when I could just get one of those canopies if I want it covered. Maybe, I mean, maybe we just go full force and turn this into like a metal fabrication shop. I put it in quotes because it's all like hobby and entry level, but based on like where my passions are at, I mean, have skateboarding on one side, metalwork fabrication on the other, it kind of makes sense. That also allows me to have a better work-life balance, which is something that I'm I'm working on kind of implementing moving forward, kind of tying it all back into like the I love skateboarding, but that's not every second of every minute of my life. I can have that part of my life, that aspect of my life all on one level now. If I want to skate, if I want to film, if I want to make something, if I want to have my own time, my alone time, that's here. The rest of the actual house, this driveway, that driveway, like the, the life outside of social media, media and skateboarding and, and my personal hobbies, this now feels more separate in, in in a good way like if we have guests over or Taylor has friends over like if me and Taylor have kids like I just feel like it's smart to separate them I, maybe I'm a, maybe I'm looking way too deep into this but that's just kind of where my head's at right now sometimes well not even sometimes all of the time uh, getting input from a third party aka you guys in this case can be really beneficial and help me see things in a new light based on the information that I've given you if you have any any, any better ideas or you could see how this could better 
benefit my life or better work for me, let me know. I'm uh, I'm all ears because I do just want like I mainly want the uh, the truck covered just because it's gonna get all sappy and, and I don't know. I would put it in the attached garage, but <laughs> but it doesn't fit, so that's where the 240 is. So yeah, I don't know, a lot of figuring out to do, but it is kind of like an interesting change that sort of spontaneously took place just for that Instagram clip, and now it's sort of sparking this bigger snowball effect change. Curious to see what you guys say, and then curious to also see how it pans out, but uh, hopefully things will get a little bit more exciting than this in the next couple of videos. Thank you guys for sticking through this and uh, and bearing, bearing with me, bearing, bearing it, bearings, bevel. Catch you guys next video, appreciate you.